I'm Adil Kumar. In this particular video, I'll take three very important trigonometric identities. They're slightly difficult to work with. Let us see how to apply different strategies to prove such identities. The first one here is to prove sin x minus 2 sin cube x divided by 2 cos cube x minus cos x equals to tan x. We should begin with the left side since it is more complicated. Left side can be written as sin x minus 2 sin cube x. Let's copy it first, right? And then, as you can see, we'll factor. You can pause the video, solve the question, and then look into my solution. So we can factor out sin from the numerator. So we could write left side as sin x 1 minus 2 sin square x. From the denominator, we can factor cos x. So that gives you tan x, right? So as you solve, you kind of see the solution. You get 2 cos square x minus 1. So sin x over cos x is tan x. What we are really interested in doing is to cancel out that component. Since you see we have sin square x and cos square x, we could change either one of them using the Pythagorean identity, which is sin square x plus cos square x equals to 1. So if I want to change cos square x, I will write cos square x as 1 minus sin square x. Does it make sense to you? So we'll do that. We'll change the denominator. Keeping the numerator same, so we have sin x, 1 minus 2 sin square x. In the denominator, we get cos x. And we have two times cos square x is 1 minus sin square x, 1 minus sin square x minus 1, right? So that gives us sin x times 1 minus 2 sin square x and the denominator. If you open this up, you get cos x times 1 times 2 is 2 minus 2 sin square x and then minus 1. Right? And now 2 minus 1 is 1. So we get sin x times 1 minus 2 sin square x divided by cos x times 2 minus 1 is 1, so we get 1 minus 2 sin square x. So as desired, this factor can be cancelled out. They're exactly the same factors. And what we get here is tan x, which is the right side. Right? So we have proven that the left side is right side. So that is how you could prove this identity. Alternate could have been to change sine square x using 1 minus cos square x. You'll get the same result. I hope that helps. So let me take up the next one. Now we need to prove tan x plus secant x minus 1 divided by tan x minus secant x plus 1 equals to 1 plus sin x over cos x. Now, the Pythagorean identity which relates tan and secant is 1 plus tan square x equals to secant square x. Now you can rearrange and write it as 1 equals to secant square x minus tan square x. And that's what we are going to do here. So we'll begin with the left side. Left side is tan x plus secant x minus 1 divided by tan x minus secant x plus 1. So if I replace from the numerator minus 1, this 1 by secant square x minus tan square x. Let's see what do we get. Okay, so we get tan x plus secant x minus, instead of 1, I am writing secant square x minus tan square x. And the denominator will keep the same, which is 
tan x minus secant x plus 1. So the idea here is, this is difference of square. So we could write this as product of sum and difference, okay? And then we'll factor. So we have tan x plus secant x minus. Now I could write this expression as secant x plus tan x times secant x minus tan x. Do you see that? And we have the denominator tan x minus secant x plus 1. This is a very critical step. It helps us to factor out tan x plus secant x. Do you see this part? Tan x plus secant x is common. So taking this out, we get tan x plus secant x. Now, what remains here is 1. And we have minus secant x. And that sign changes to plus tan x divided by tan x minus secant x plus 1. Now you can see that these two factors are same, right? We have plus 1 minus secant x tan x, plus 1 minus secant x plus tan x. So we can cancel this and write left side as tan x plus secant x. Tan x is sine over cos, secant is 1 over cos, right? So we could write this as tan is sine x over cos x plus 1 over cos x, which gives us cos x as common denominator and sine x plus 1 or 1 plus sine x over cos x, which is right side. Is it okay? So that is how you could prove this identity. So the beauty of this is to do the substitution. So at times, you may have to rearrange your Pythagorean identity and do as we did in this particular example. I hope the concept is very clear. So let me take a few more examples. Now we will prove 1 plus cot x minus cosecant x times 1 plus tan x plus secant x is equal to 2. Let us write all of them in terms of sine and cosine. So we will begin with the left side, writing each one of them as sine and cosine. So it could be written as 1 plus cot is cos x over sine x minus cosecant is 1 over sine x. Here we have 1 plus tan, which is sine x over cos x, plus secant, which is 1 over cos x. Now, from here, we can take sine x as common denominator. So we have sine x. We should write sine x plus cos x minus 1. And in this side, we'll take cos x as common denominator, we get cos x plus sine x plus 1. Now at this stage, as you can see, we could treat this as this part as a, right? This part as a and 1 as b, right? So in that case, we could use when you multiply them, it is kind of a minus b times a plus b, which should be equal to a square minus b square. Correct? And therefore, we can write denominators as sine x times cos x, right? And the numerator, we get square of this, which is sine x plus cos x whole square minus 1. 1 squared is 1. Now let's expand sine x plus cos x whole square. We get sine square x plus cos square x plus 2 sine x cos x. 
and we have minus 1 there divided by sine x cos x. Now sine squared x plus cos squared x is 1, right? As we know, this portion is 1. So we can write this as 1 plus 2 sine x cos x minus 1 divided by sine x cos x. Now 1 minus 1 is 0, so you are left with 2 sine x cos x divided by sine x cos x. And that gives you 2, which is the right side. Okay? So that is how you could prove this identity. Let's take one more to wind up with this video. Here is the last example. Proof cos square x divided by 1 minus tan x plus sine cube x divided by sine x minus cos x equals 2. 1 plus sine x cos x. So we'll begin with the left side and we'll write tan x in terms of sine over cos. So we have cos square x divided by 1 minus sine x over cos x plus sine cube x divided by sine x minus cos x. Now let's take the common denominator. So we'll get cos square x cos x minus sine x divided by cos x. Here we could write it in terms of cos x minus sine x, right? So we'll do sine cube x take minus common. So we could write this as cos x minus sine x. Since we are getting the same term here, now taking cos x in the numerator gives us cos cube x divided by cos x minus sine x. And plus and minus makes it negative sine cube x divided by cos x minus sine x. So what we get here is a numerator which is a cube minus b cube. So we could write this as cos cube x minus sine cube x divided by cos x minus sine x. Now we can factor the numerator applying the formula for a cube minus b cube. a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square. Correct? So let's factor and write down the answer. So we get cos x minus sin x times square of cos plus product of cos and sin and then square of sine divided by cos x minus sine x. So this factor cos x minus sine x cancels. We are left with cos square x plus sine square x which is 1. So we can combine these two cos square x plus sine square x which is 1, so we write 1 for that, plus cos x sine x or sine x cos x, right, which is equal to the right side. So that is how you could prove this identity. Well, that brings us to the end of interesting videos on trigonometric identities. I hope you learned and appreciated them. Feel free to write your comments, share my videos and if you like and subscribe that'd be great thanks and all the best